Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am so excited to finally sit down and film my new cubicle decor haul video. And as some of you may know, I did get a new job. I was at my last job for almost eight years. This one I've been there for about a week and a half. <laughs> I started on January 31st and I am so happy, you guys. Honestly, I don't think I've ever been this happy. Even my skin is clearing up. Like, I'm just noticing so many changes in myself since I started this new job and I really honestly could not be happier. Everybody is so nice and they're just so helpful and I just really really, really like where I'm at right now. So um, I know that my videos have kind of had to take a little back seat since I have started this new little journey in my life. So this little transition um, will be done with fairly soon and I will be back on my video grind like always. Um, but yeah, I was just really excited to get this new job. And even when I showed up, they were like, okay, here's the cubicle. And I was like, for me, I got a window seat, which is just such an amazing thing. So my mom has been working in her same job in her same like field, I guess you would say um, for almost 30, 30 years and she has never had a window seat. So this was amazing. I was so grateful. I honestly was like, wait, are we sure? <laughs> like, are you sure this is supposed to be for me? Um, and I honestly was going to show up like with all my boxes ready to decorate, but I just thought I should not really show that side of my craziness right away. <laughs> so anyway, yeah, I'm going to be taking all of my goodies with me tomorrow um, right now it is Sunday night. So that's kind of what I've been having to do things for YouTube has either been on the weekends or really, really late at night. So um, yeah, and even my hours have changed a little bit as well. So I'm at work a little later than I used to be. But anyway, that's okay, because I actually enjoy being there and time honestly flies because everyone's so nice. And I really like the work that I'm actually doing as well. It's actually really um, like different. I don't know, maybe it's just like the different little change in um, my schedule and my day, but I really, really like it. But anyway, yeah, that's that. That's what we are doing today. We are filming my new cubicle decor haul since I've kind of wanted my like a new cubicle to be my little home away from home. So you could certainly use a bunch of these items in your own home as actual home decor, but I am of course going to be taking them to my cubicle at work. So anyway, we've got a lot, lot of stuff to share with you today. Um, and then I also am going to be doing a little DIY video that I'm going to be sharing with you guys as well. It should be up after this video, but the, they are all DIYs that I made for my new cubicle. So anyway, with that said, I know I've been a little chatty Kathy and I've been trying to kind of fill you in and catch you up, but um, yeah, sorry for the long intro, but I had some things I needed to tell you guys. So anyway, with that said, I think it is now time to officially get into my new cubicle decor haul. So first things first, I'm going to kind of start with a few little stationary type items, but this first one I found at Home Goods, and I've actually already picked up one of these for my office here, but I wanted one for my new cubicle, of course. But like I said, this was from Home Goods. It was only $6.99, and this is just what it looks like. It's this little pack of gold metallic pens. I don't think I actually ever hauled my other one just because I hadn't had a video to put it in, but I was happy to see that they were still silly these and I know that they also have um, them in silver as well but yeah they're just really cute gold pens and these are actually dupes for the Kate Spade ballpoint pens that are all gold so I just thought that was great I think her like pen sets are a lot more than $6.99 I know that for a fact um, but yeah so that's just what they look like outside of the package they're really really neat so anyway that's just one little pen right there so yeah super excited to find another little set of these and again they also carry them in silver so I found this set at Home Goods for $6.99 and I believe I've also seen them, um, of course, at TJ Maxx and Marshalls um, as well. So, okay, moving right along, I picked up a big notebook to take to meetings and things like that, um, and just like some other big notes and things for like my work that I do every day. Um, so I found this at TJ Maxx. This was $5.99, and this is just what it looks like. It's this really cute baby pink notebook with this really fun kind of like brushed gold metallic foil piece down here. It is spiral. I had taken a separate notebook of mine with me on like my first day, my first week and stuff like that um, but it was kind of one of those like faux leather ones so it didn't have like a binding here and I was having a really hard time bending it and I, it like wouldn't bend so it was a little more difficult to write in so I thought I should get one that has like an actual binding to take with me and keep at work for all of my notes and it says notebook in black just plain lettering so I thought it was super cute again just a solid pink color and then this is just what the inside looks like so yeah I don't know the brand on this I don't think I've actually checked to see um not a brand I recognize. It just says OCS Designs. Yeah, OCS Designs. So anyway, yeah, I love it. I think it's great. And it was only six bucks at TJ Maxx. So I did sign up to be a part of the holiday committee and things like that at my new office. I know so soon. Um, but basically we had like literally a meeting the first day I was there. They were planning a side little thing for Valentine's Day and stuff like that. But anyway, I figured I needed a little party notebook for all of my holiday committee planning. So I picked up this fun little notebook at Home Goods, and this one was only $3.99, and it's from the brand Crown Jewels. And I have seen this book in silver and also. 
also black glitter as well but I just thought the gold glitter of course was certainly more me and I did do some DIYs and this does definitely match those so definitely stay tuned if you're into gold glitter things like that I did do some really fun little crafts that I cannot wait to share with you guys but yes that's just what that looks like super excited again it's the same thing on the back and this is just what the inside looks like so very simple but again this does come in handy having the little spiral to fold the uh, cover over so looking forward to using both of these for my meetings and notes and then also my little holiday committee planning guide so yes I was really excited to find those again from TJ Maxx and Home Goods. I did pick up some new items at Target as well for my new cubicle this I found in the Target dollar spot it was only five dollars and I picked up this really cute pink like a metal tin clipboard I was really excited to find this it's a very thin but it's also very heavy duty or very heavy whatever you want to call it it's very well made as well but yeah so this is just what it looks like I might hang this on my wall with like some notes and things like little procedure type things on here but I haven't quite decided yet I just thought this was so perfect though totally me with the baby pink and then of course the little gold piece up here was just too cute to pass up so really happy to find this in the Target dollar spot I don't know if they had any other colors or designs um, this was the only one I saw and of course it was perfect for me so okay that's from Target so then also from Target I picked up these really cute little hanging file folders I thought these were really fun they're like a really pretty little marble they're very subtle as well though they're not like a really bold like dark intense marble um, but I just thought they were really pretty nonetheless and they do have like little gold hanger little hook things <laughs> um, but yeah there are six little file folders in here um, and of course they're from the brand Threshold I don't know the actual price of these I think they were somewhere between like $4.99 and $5.99 I could be wrong I'll definitely like list it somewhere on the screen here um, if I am wrong but I just thought they were so cute moving right along I picked up this cute little notepad that I was going to set out on my desk just for quick notes and things like that just to jot things down but I found this at Marshall's <laughs> it was only $2.99 and this is just what it looks like it's from the brand Zoomerang but it was like you know like Boomerang but Zoomerang um and yeah I just thought this was so cute it's kind of like a black and kind of peachy pink color but it has this really fun bow up here that I just thought was too cute and too adorable I could not pass this up um and yeah it is like a little magnetic notepad and stuff like that but I'm just going to kind of be setting this out kind of near my computer just to quickly jot down notes and move right on so anyway yeah I love it I think it was cute it was only three bucks at Marshall's could not pass it up so next I picked up a cute new little stapler and like tape dispenser type set but I found this first one at Marshall's it was only $9.99 it is a cute new stapler I just thought this was so fun it's like a clear acrylic but then it has this really fun kind of rose gold detailing on the sides I just thought that was so pretty and then of course I could not pass up these adorable like little polka dots they're kind of like a bubblegum baby pink color that I just thought were so cute oh I just love those so anyway this was ten dollars and I believe that this oh no this one was originally $7.99 but they marked it down and I'll tell you why in just a second but this is just what the stapler looks like of course it has that same little rose gold spot right there but yeah as you guys can see that's like a better little <laughs> depiction of the actual polka dots um, or actually that's better what am I doing who am I am I a youtuber no clearly not <laughs> um, so yeah I just thought that was, that was so cute so again they clearance it down to six dollars but it is missing like that little tape insert so I'm going to have to find something that fits this that's okay I feel like I will certainly find one and I do have one here like this is like what my actual tape dispenser looks like but they have gold polka dots on it instead so if I need to borrow that one temporarily I will live it'll be okay but I will be on the lookout for something a little similar to use or maybe like maybe Amazon might have some refills I don't really know anyway I just thought it was such a good deal six bucks and ten bucks of course they like supplied me with my own like stapler and things like that but I wanted something a little more me and girly so yes that's why I decided to become my own stapler and tape dispenser to take to my new office so anyway okay moving right along so this next item is actually kind of funny looking and I just thought this was so fun I definitely had to have this this was from Target it's from the brand Project 62 they just call this a figurine but basically it's a balloon animal unicorn and this is just <laughs> what it looks like I thought there was something about this that was so funny and hilarious first off balloon animals are hilariously funny looking to me I don't know why but then when you add this like really dumb looking unicorn on I don't know why but I just thought it was great there's something about this that is just so weird that I just thought I really needed this for my cubicle I don't know why but this just screams 
like whimsical weirdness and I love that. <laughs> but yeah, anyway, it was only $8.99. Um, I did pick up something a little similar to this recently from Hobby Lobby that will be in a video coming up as well. Um, but yeah, this is pretty small. It's not very large at all. Um, I just think it's going to look really cute in my cubicle. I don't know. We will certainly see what this looks like. But again, from Target for only $8.99. So this next item, I am so excited for it because I got such an amazing deal on it. So basically, I remember watching this set when my home goods first got it in and I was like, no, I don't really need it. But basically this was originally $20. It was marked down to $350. 350 like that's an amazing deal and it's in almost perfect condition um but yeah i was so 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 excited to find this and again i did not need it for 20 but for 350 i will certainly take it but this is just what it looks like it's this really awesome tissue box cover and it was funny because i was thinking about how like there's germs and people what like with sneezing and things like that i was like i should keep some tissues and things in my cubicle and then i was like oh but all tissue boxes are kind of ugly and i was like i'll have to get something and sure enough i was at home goods literally yesterday and i found this which was such an amazing find and deal. I was so excited for this. Um, and for $3.50, that is insanity. I tried to kind of like peel this back to verify that I was correct, that it was $19.99 and it was. It even says compare at $30. So I don't know what the like other little red tags say. There's two other red tags and then at $3.50. So maybe like, I don't know, 19 to like 10 to five to $3.50. I don't know. <laughs> I honestly have no clue, but I just thought this was so fun. I just love like the little simplicity of it. It's all white with just a black trim. And I thought I could like definitely add a bow to this if I really, really wanted to, or I could add other little things, maybe like some little pearls. I don't know. I don't really want to go like that route with it, but if it is too bland, I will certainly add a bow or something like that to it just to spice it up a little bit. Again, I didn't want to go over the top, but um, I did have a couple ideas if need be. So yes, that is that. This is such a weird item. I don't know why I'd like to hold and stuff like that, but yeah, just a little tissue box cover um, for only $3.50, which is such an amazing deal. And I don't think that there is a brand on this uh creative bath products i don't know if that's the actual brand or if that's just a description who knows but yes anyway again from home goods for only 350 so this next item i was actually really excited to find this at marshall's for only 4.99 and as you guys know in the back of my videos i usually have those fun little flip calendars like the pink one and things like that but i have yet to actually find one for 2018 so i've been a little bummed i want to find one i know that like in past years they've also had white um but i definitely need to find one if not two one for my office here one for my like dresser in my room here and then I found this one which is a little similar but also a little different as well again for Marshalls for only $4.99 so that's why I was excited to find one just because I love like the idea of this and again it's like the same thing as my other one but anyway yes this is just what this one looks like so it comes in this really awesome like little gold frame here as you can see and then each little sheet you slide out and you like change it each month so right now of course it is set on January I need to switch it over to February but yeah I just thought this was so cute. It has like really fun little gold metallic polka dots right up here at the top and then all of the little lettering like the January and then Monday or um, Sunday through Saturday is in gold metallic as well and then the letters are in just like a little simple black font down at the bottom. So it's super lightweight. It's really, really small. Um, and it has like this really fun little easel thing like that. It did not have a price tag on it. So they had to go find one. And I was like, please don't stick it on there because I hate peeling the stickers off. So it's attached to my receipt, but I did pay $4.99 for this little guy. So I don't know. Again, I was excited. I know that my little flip calendars don't have um, like a little easel stand like this, but I have a little easel that it usually sits on. So um, yeah, that was kind of a fun little find to find <laughs> to take to my new cubicle and office. So yes, that's just what it looks like. I think it's great. It's always handy to have a little calendar right in front of you. Um, yeah, so there's that. Anyway, not much more to say about a little tabletop uh desktop size calendar so next i picked up some cute little like new thank you cards to keep at my office um these are from the brand cr gibson which i love their stuff they always have really fun designs and these are only 3.99 and i don't remember if i got these at uh tj maxx or home goods i don't quite remember i do apologize um and sometimes they don't always print like the actual like store name at the top i don't know why they do that um but sometimes i remember sometimes i don't but yeah again i don't really remember which one I bought this at but this is just what they look like as you can see it has like a really fun marble print on top and then in gold metallic lettering it says thank you and then the actual envelopes themselves I can't you'll have to get some scissors out but the actual envelopes 
envelopes. <laughs> the actual envelopes themselves are like a really pretty blush, maybe pink color. So I thought that that would be really fun to keep at my desk. I was excited to find these. There are only 16 cards and envelopes in this little box, but let me get some scissors really quickly um, just because that reflection is a little intense. So one second. So the cards are actually shiny as well, but that's okay. You guys get the big picture here. That's just what it looks like. I think that these are so fun. And the inside of course is just blank. And then the fun little envelope is just a baby pink color, little blush maybe pink color and honestly I think this is going to be really really helpful to have at my desk just because everyone has been so helpful everyone has been helping me like train and learn this new process and stuff like that and of course like the new job so um yeah they all definitely deserve thank you notes if not plus more um just because they've been so welcoming and so helpful um and I've only been there for a week and a half so yes these will certainly come in, in handy I will certainly be using these um just because I have quite a few people to thank um since they've made this transition and this new little journey and job and and things like that so much more easier so yes anyway I was super excited to find these and again I don't know what store I found them at but they were only $3.99 from the brand C.R. Gibson so yes anyway that is that moving right along so let's talk floral arrangements because I have been on the lookout for like the perfect one every store I go to though they're like $20 $25 $30 $40 and honestly that is way too expensive for a floral arrangement so I thought to myself Lauren you're just going to have to put one together yourself so basically that is exactly what I did and this one again did not have a price and they gave me the price of $7.99 but then they marked it down to $7 on clearance. This is the little tag. I asked them to not stick it on and the reason why it was clearance down is because it does have like a little nick somewhere. Oh, of course. <laughs> on the side that I was first looking on but I'm going to show you what this little planter looks like. Dun da da da! <laughs> so yes, it's this really fun sort of like like concrete ceramic marble type planter thing and I just thought this was so pretty but right here there's kind of like a little nick out of it and the other one was even more damaged than this one so again I only paid seven dollars for this which is a really really good deal so yes that's the little tag I just had them stick it inside of there because I did not want to peel it off but anyway this is just what it looks like I was really happy and really excited to find this um and I have been on the lookout for like a like a bouquet of flowers and things like that at Hobby Lobby and also Joann's and I could not find anything so luckily I had these backup flowers at my house and I think that that's why I couldn't find any is just because I had really really high standards so these are some beautiful flowers that I bought years ago I believe I got them at Joann's I have yet to actually check Michael's or anything like that um but yes these are just so beautiful they're just such a pretty like fake flower and I know sometimes fake flowers can look a little cheap but these honestly are just a perfect shade of pink they're so well made they just look so realistic and again I have not been able to find anything that looks like this so I don't even know how many flowers are here and as you guys can see I've had them for a while I've like bent the stems they've been in all sorts of different vases and like little arrangements and things like that anyway this is just essentially what it's going to look like once I get all of the flowers well that looks really sad because it's again hanging out the side um but yeah once it is all like kind of set up and I have the foam in there to, ho to hold the flowers steady. It will look a lot different. Um, but yeah, I just thought this was going to be really, really fun once I do have it all kind of put together nicely. Um, I just thought it was going to be a fun little touch in my cubicle. So I don't really know which like little counter I will set this on quite yet, but I'm really excited to put this in there. I just thought it was so fun. And again, all of the other ones have been just so awful. The flowers have been just like really, really awful quality. The colors have been terrible. Also, I have been on the hunt for like a perfect white kind of like peony type flower not really like a rose but basically all of the white flowers that I'm finding are so weird looking maybe solid white flowers aren't all that natural but that's okay that's what I want so the fact that I cannot find just a solid white flower without weird plastic like yellow things and even like yellow on the actual like little petals themselves I don't know it's like the weirdest thing that I could not find a perfect white kind of peony floppy type flower Oh, they're all weird looking. I don't really know. Anyway, so moving right along. The reason I have been on the hunt for white perfect flowers. Again, I've checked Joann's and also Hobby Lobby, not yet Michael's. Um, but even like Home Goods, TJ Maxx, Marshall's, all of the white flowers are just so awful. I don't know why. It's really bothering me. But anyway, I found this really pretty little vase at Hobby Lobby. It was only $7.99, a little 
stickers a little scratched um but i used my 40 percent off coupon on this so it was around five or six dollars or so but this is just what it looks like i just thought this was so pretty it's definitely like a ceramic material but then it has this beautiful like gold metallic foil detailing right down here at the bottom which i just thought was so beautiful i cannot get over this so again it is just a smaller little squared vase in size comparison <laughs> i know this one is quite large so again this one was only seven dollars and this was like five or six dollars so i really did get a good deal on it, this big one so um eventually when i get some flowers and maybe if white does not work out and i can only find good pink ones then maybe pink is what is meant to be again but yeah look at how pretty that would be just with some really fun like little floppy flowers Oh, yes. So, so, so pretty. There was one nice little um, arrangement at uh, Home Goods with white flowers, but there was something about it I didn't like, and now I can't remember. But I don't know. I think it was like expensive, and it also wasn't like perfect what I wanted, but the flowers felt different, and I think that's kind of what drew me in, even though it was a little weird. But anyway, yeah. Okay, so that is that. That is why I wanted white flowers was to put in this little vase, but again, if I can only find good pink ones, or fingers crossed I could just find any good ones, in general uh, then I will definitely pick them up so those are two new like little squared type vases and I did find oh that was awful so I also picked up like another little vase type item from Joanne Fabrics or Joanne's whatever you want to call it and this was originally $12.99 but I believe it was either 40 or 50 percent off so I paid around anywhere from $6.50 to like eight bucks or so I don't really remember but that is okay this is just what it looks like I know that TJ Maxx and HomeGoods have had other like little face vase type things but I have never been able to find one and then the ones that I did find were not cute so when I found this one I just thought there was something about it that was really sweet and very like simple and things like that so that is why I decided to pick it up and again I wanted some white flowers um but again if I can only find pink or anything like that just because the white color has really been bothering me then so be it and again I also don't know um how much extra space I will have so if I cannot figure out a spot for this in my cubicle I will certainly work this into my decor in here or in my office here at our house so yeah anyway that's just what it looks like very simple it is just a white ceramic little vase very basic um but i just thought that little face was very very sweet so uh yeah again it's just part of the spring line originally 12.99 i don't know if you guys can see that probably not but anyway i thought this was great super cute and i don't know if they had any other designs or anything like that that matched this this was the only one and only one in general not just as in, like this is the only design but this is just the only one in general that i found at mine so yes love it so super cute again from joanne fabrics so next I found this cute new little pencil holder I was so excited to find this and I found it at TJ Maxx for only $9.99 and it's from the brand Raymond Waits they just call this a pencil cup two sections but basically this is just what it looks like it has this really awesome sort of gold metal trim and this is glass as you can see there and then down here there is a mirror and if you guys can see there's like a little middle section right there so there are two sides to this so my thought with this let me see if I can like slide this little piece off do to do, do oh yeah it does come off okay so essentially this is just what it looks like oh it's so pretty so I really want to put those cute new pens in there we should just do it right now since they're sitting right next to me so I thought I could do kind of like my fun little specialty pens and things like that in one side and then do other pens and things like that um like good ball points um and whatever color ones or something over here as well so that was kind of my thoughts i know 10 bucks is a little bit much for a pencil cup but i just thought this was so cute i think it's going to look really really fun on my desk the golds on camera don't look like they match but in person they match a little bit more so than they look on camera but that's okay who needs to be picky um but yeah so anyway i thought this was so fun it's certainly very cute very chic and glamorous um and i just really really like this so anyway yes love this so 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 gosh darn adorable and again from wait no <laughs> that's not it again oh no that's right it was on the thing again from tj maxx for only 9.99 so to go along with my cute new little pencil cup and my cute new little desktop calendar i found these really awesome picture frames frames um and I found one at least from home goods and two of them from TJ Maxx but this first one is from TJ Maxx it was only $5.99 this fits up to a four by six photo but of course you can make it smaller and you'll see why in just a second but this is just what the actual picture frame itself looks like I thought this was so cute so basically it has that same concept as the little um cup holder here <laughs> um but you can see through which i just thought was so cute so basically you take this little thing you slide it up like 
Wait, where's it gonna go? There we go. You slide it up like that, and then you open it up. Wait, hold on. Maybe you go down. Oh, you go downwards, not upwards. Whoopsie. Anyway, so you slide this little thing down, and then this opens up as like a little door. And then, of course, you'll put your picture in here. You don't have to tape it down like they have this tape down. You can just hold it there and then let it sit, and it will kind of hold it in there. So I thought that was really, really cute. Let me see if I can get it back. Yeah, there you go. So again, this is just what it looks like. You would slide this down, unlock it, open it, and put your picture in, which I just thought was so fun. So as you can see, this definitely holds like a little landscape or horizontal picture if you will and then this one that I picked up to match it of course again also from TG Maxx also $5.99 this one fits a nice little portrait vertical photo and as you can see this is kind of like sliding it's not really centered but yeah same thing this one also fits a four by six photo um and yeah I thought there was something else on there but certainly not so again it opens up the same little way you just sl slide the little thing up Boop, boop, boop. <laughs> oh, it's so fun. I don't know. There's just something about this that I just thought was so different and so unique and I, and so chic as well. Oh my gosh, this is just so adorable. So I thought this was great. Again, from TJ Maxx with only $5.99 for the two of these little guys. So adorable. So just like those other two frames, I found this one at Home Goods. This one was only $4. And I don't know the original price because all it had was one weird little clearance sticker on the back and it even had like this little bag on it and this doesn't have anything like price wise so I don't know what the original price was on this one but this one is from Isaac Jacobs as well and this also fits a four by six photo but as you can see like the back little easel of course is a little bit different than the other one so I thought that was interesting I thought it would be kind of fun though to mix in because essentially it's the same idea but it had like a little different stand to it so yeah I don't know anyway I just thought they were so cute and of course like the little flower pictures are different inside of there again this one also has that fun little mechanism where it it slides open whoopsie there we go oh so cute I just thought this was really really fun so that is what that looks like so again I picked up three of this design and then to kind of go along the same lines as well I found this one from home goods whoopsie caught my shirt right there found this one from home goods and this is from the brand Drexel Heritage and this one actually matches more so of the little desktop calendar than the pencil holder um, but this one was $6.99 so this one was a dollar more and this is just what that looks like so it's the exact same concept of course with the little easel and as you can see here it does match this one more so so I don't know if this is from Drexel Heritage I have not a clue but I just thought this was so great and this one is a lot heavier than those other ones and as you can see that's just what it looks like and this fits also a four by six picture even though um, that it like is significantly larger <laughs> so uh, what I think what they mean by this is that it would fit a full one if you do not want to have any clear space around it um, and then this one must be a little bit smaller like the actual picture inside this one must be a little bit smaller so anyway I thought this was so adorable so fun I love this like little gold like chic frame look with the gold or with the clear glass and stuff like that I just thought it was so pretty so anyway yeah that's just what that looks like again from home goods for only $6.99 I do have it three more frames but I'm going to move a few things then I'll show you those and it'll be no time for you guys so my next little frame design I do have other picture frames that like this here at my house but of course I wanted some for my new cubicle so I found these two at home goods they were each $5.99 and this is from the brand Laura Ashley and these fit four by four inch photos so this is just what the actual frame itself looks like of course you guys know that I love these fun little French provincial kind of ornate type frames I just thought that these were so beautiful and so pretty so I keep saying these because I did pick up two of them so as you can see there that is just what they look like I don't really need to do much more explaining about them just because they are very simple and again I've also hauled like different frames like this before so yeah anyway I found them each at home goods you could hang them on the like the wall as well they do have that capability um, but again I'm just going to kind of be mixing all of these frames together and I do want to get more picture frames and things like that I know it sounds crazy but I have a lot more counter space than I used to so um, yeah anyway I thought these were super great I think that I'm going to be putting in just two pictures of myself which I know kind of seems like kind of narcissistic but also at the same time I went to the Museum of Ice Cream and I love that picture so I want to be able to put my little sprinkle pool picture in one and then I think I'm also going to put my little Tiffany box um, Halloween oopsie <laughs> a little Tiffany box Halloween costume in this one just because it is like a perfect square because it's a box so anyway <laughs> I know it's just like two random pictures of just myself but I think that's what I want to do with 
this little size picture frame. So I picked up two of that size and then I picked up one of this one and this one is a four by six um, as well just like the other ones and again this one was also from Home Goods for $6.99 and this is from the brand Azure Home. So wait that's weird. The actual frame itself says Azure Home and then this little paper in here says Berry Winkle. I thought Berry Winkle was its own brand because I have purchased other like frames that had the little Berry Winkle thing on the inside. That's weird. Super weird. Oh my gosh. I Maybe I just never noticed that. I don't really know. But anyway, I thought this was great. Again, it was $6.99. All of these frames are about $5 and $6.99, which really isn't terrible. Um, some stores are a lot more and also a lot uglier. So <laughs> there's that. But again, I just love this fun little ornate French style frame so much. And of course, just the fun white will be great kind of to mix in. So yeah, I don't know. I just think that these are all going to look really, really cute, sort of mingled about, spread about, and kind of mixed in it together. Oh, I just love that so much. I love the two different like opposites, literally opposites attract. I think that that's like such a fun way to mix in frames. Things just to kind of showcase every single little bit of your style and taste. Um, and of course you guys know I have like two extremes. One like this and then of course one like this. So anyway, okay, that is all I have for picture frames. Holy moly, goodness gracious. I have one, two, three, I believe only three more items left to show you guys in this video. So let's get going. So this next item I'm so excited for, and I was so excited to actually be able to purchase this, but basically my sister found this one day at TJ Maxx and I was so excited. So again, thank you so much, Kaylin, for actually finding this. Um, and this was only $9.99, which is such an amazing deal. And it's from the brand, I just saw it. Where was the brand? It's from the brand Burns of Boston. Um, and this is just what it looks like. It's one of those really fun little light boxes that plugs in or you could use batteries and it lights up and this one actually says follow your heart which I've actually never seen them have like full-on like little sheets to slide in here with words and things like that so you could certainly leave it like that but it also comes with letters and symbols and things I'm trying to get my hand out of the way without dropping it um and it shows all of them right here so I think it says somewhere in here oh yeah 60 letters symbols and numbers and one LED light box and what's really cool about this is it's, that it's in this beautiful blush baby pink color right here and in my last home decor haul I showed you my fun little like bubblegum baby pink color one and it was like a little mini miniature one miniature <laughs> nice one little tiny light box that was pink but this one is so much bigger and so huge so I think that I was going to put like happy February and then like my little like uh, work name right here not my actual name but where I work right here our little abbreviation um, or I don't know kind of change it up monthly so I just thought that would be really fun and also it kind of totally reminds me of like Hollywood and things like that um, so I wanted to kind of bring like a little touch of my acting stuff with me to my new cubicle and I am going to be bringing like my little, um, they call them markers, but they're like a little clapboard, things that look like this you know, <laughs> that are like black and white um, and say like act one, scene one, take whatever, whatever. So I did kind of want to incorporate a little bit of that in these boxes always remind me of little marquee signs and things like that. So anyway, oh they, yeah, they just called a marquee light box, one blush uh, LED light box, 60 letters and symbols, tabletop or wall mount. Um, and requires two double A or six double A batteries. Goodness gracious, it's late. <laughs> two and six six look nothing alike, but that is okay. Um, so yeah, I will have to get some batteries for this. But again, it was only nine ninety nine from TJ Maxx. Such a good deal, and I know that they also have these in other colors as well. But I was just so excited that my sister found me the beautiful blush baby pink color one. So oh, so excited. So anyway, again from TJ Maxx, only ten bucks. So for my second to last item, if you guys watched my home decor haul. You guys know that I picked up another one of these really fun Kate Spade blankets for my cubicle, which is great because I sit right under an air conditioner, which I love being cold and then also having a blanket and also being next to windows. You guys know that those offices are always colder. Well, and if you didn't know, now you know. <laughs> so anyway, I was actually really excited that I already picked up the blanket because I will be needing that and I'm excited to take it with me, but I thought it would be really fun to kind of display it on something. I don't really have room for like a spare chair in there, so I could either hang it on my chair or I could keep it in this really cute little little bin under my desk and that is exactly what I'm going to be doing. So I found this in the kid section. I was so excited to find it um, and I got it at HomeGoods and it was marked down to $7. It was originally 15 bucks 
14 at 99 and I paid seven dollars for this thing such a good deal so again this is just what it looks like but it's this beautiful baby pink color and it kind of looks like it's a little dirty right there that's okay though I'll just turn it around to this side <laughs> so as you guys can see close up it does have a really beautiful gold sort of threading detail on it I just love these baskets they're so fun they're little bins soft sided bins so I thought it'd be cute to kind of have that on the floor under my desk and keep my blanket in there um, and it would just look really really cute and nice and definitely very homey so I thought that was great um, and again it is quite large so I thought that was also awesome for only seven bucks so anyway I know that the kids section always has so many of these but for seven dollars I could not pass that up such a good deal I think it's going to look really really cute with the blanket kind of draped out of it um, under my desk and whatnot so anyway I'm so excited for all of my new little goodies I know I keep saying that I'm so excited or anyway or anything like that um, just because I feel like I have so many things to tell you about each item and why I picked them up and my idea behind them or whatever just until I can uh, share with you what it actually looks like so I love this I think it is great super duper cute and I know that I picked up some of these um, at Target a couple years ago but I think that those would have been a little bit too was it a couple years ago or was it just last year I think it might have been just last year but anyway this one is a lot larger than that this is like double the size like two of them put together if not three of them put together so I thought it was great again super adorable and only seven bucks from home goods Okay, so my last and final item for this video, this will look familiar because I already own it. <laughs> so basically I have this hanging in my office here at my house, but when I was trying to find art and things like that for my new cubicle, I was having a really, really, really hard time um, because I've been looking for art and things like that before I even like started my job. So um, I've had a really hard time finding something that I thought was like work appropriate and also very me. So um, I kept thinking about this one piece that I have here hanging on the wall um, and I was like, maybe I should just get a second one one for here one for there um, and that way I'll be able to look at it all the time <laughs> so that's what I just decided to do so I found this at Hobby Lobby um, and I again I already have this so this was originally $13.99 but I did use my coupon on this so I paid about eight bucks or so eight fifty nine bucks and this is just what it looks like which also nine bucks is a really good deal compared to some art and things like that at some of these stores so this is just what it looks like it's got a really pretty white frame and then of course it is framed in glass and then in gold metallic lettering it says messy bun and getting stuff done so the word messy is in gold metallic lettering the word bun in the middle is in black cursive and then the words and getting stuff done is also in black lettering so Again, I've already hauled this. I've already had this in a few videos by now, um, but I just love this so much. And I was so excited to find another one um, and to see that they actually still carried it. When I went in there, I was like, please, 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 please. Um, and sure enough, that was a fingers crossed. If you guys cannot tell, please, please, please still have them. And sure enough, they did. They had a bunch, but this one was the best one um, that they had since some of the like other little edges and things of the frame were kind of dented in or scuffed or things like that. So anyway, yes, I was so excited. It was such a good deal for only like eight or nine bucks. Um, and yeah, I'm really excited to take this. I'm going to be hanging this under one of my cabinets and things on the wall. So anyway, I also have another piece that will sit side by side with this one under side under the under under the other <laughs> cabinet uh, that is right next to it that I actually made it myself. So again, definitely keep your eyes out for my new little uh, cubicle. I think I'm going to title it cubicle DIY or DIY cubicle decor video or yeah cubicle DIY, DIY cubicle decor probably DIY cubicle decor but anyway I so I did make a piece kind of uh, around the same size and shape and things like that for my new cubicle so keep your eyes out so anyway yeah that is just what that looks like um, and I know that there are still other spots in my cubicle that will not be filled with all this stuff so I will certainly have to be on the lookout for more items <laughs> and I will certainly be picking up some more little goodies to fill in those spots and wall spaces um, because the one little little DIY that I did the art piece the thing I, that I wanted to go there I cannot find quite yet but I needed to get that spot filled um for other reasons um just because there's something on the wall like a like a mark and things on like the actual like fabric wall of the cubicle uh, so I wanted to cover that so that's why I wanted to put something there so that's why I decided to make this and once I get like the actual mirror that I want to go in that spot I will take that piece and move it to another spot in my cubicle so with that said that is my last and final item I'm so excited for it and I cannot wait to see this side by side with the other little piece that I just did actually today FYI <laughs> just made it all today anyway so yeah again Hobby Lobby love this such a good deal so cute and again I loved it so much I bought it twice okay guys so that's all I have for this whole video I really hope you guys enjoyed and again keep your eyes out for my new little DIY video coming up very very soon and of course you don't have to just use those items for a cubicle you really could use those anywhere throughout your house they are pretty versatile 
pencil. And again, a couple of them were a little bit different for me. Um, two of them not so much, but of course two of them were a little different than what I usually do. But I was really excited to do them anyway because I think they're going to look really, really cute in my new cubicle. So anyway, with that said, that is all I have. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know I've been so tired, but I've been so much happier. Um, and yeah, I just, it's so crazy how things can change it so, so quickly. And I don't even know if I talked about how fast everything happened with this job. Basically, I interviewed in December, waited a little bit, and then on the very last day that my favorite coworker was leaving, it was a very hard Thursday for me. That day was so terrible. And then I literally woke up the next morning and I had a call that I got the job. So, so crazy. It all happened so, so fast. And again, I was even thinking about quitting my job at the end of January to go full time with YouTube. But of course, that is not in the cards. And now I see why, because this place is amazing and everyone is so kind, so sweet. And I am just so excited for what is to come. Um, and yeah, I'm so happy, you guys. Honestly, this has just been an amazing transition. Um, and it's crazy how comfortable you get in a job after eight years um and so i definitely encourage you if you feel like you've been stuck in a rut definitely like try something new go out and definitely like interview for like a new job and i know it's not like that much of a difference from my other job um but as far as like the actual workload and the environment it is a complete 180 so i'm so happy everybody is so kind i know i've said that a million times um but i'm just so excited to see what is to come in the future with this job it's just been really 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 awesome just these past just this past week and a half not these past weeks literally just just this past week and a half literally it's five days and three days so in the past eight days everything has been so crazy and again i work later days and I work a little longer days just because I do have an hour lunch. Um, but I don't even care. I don't care that I get home really, really late. I don't care that I sit in traffic for an hour and I don't care that my job is even further than my last one. Um, I'm happier and I think that's all that really matters. And um, yeah, I definitely can feel a change within myself. So that's what matters most. And anyway, so yes, if you're feeling a little stuck and a little like stifled, I would definitely encourage you to step out of the box and try something new. Don't be afraid. I know I was always a little apprehensive about changing like my job or my, you know, whatever, just because I was always really comfortable. And I was like, oh, but I've been here for so long. And you just kind of get comfortable in that routine of things. Um, but I am, I understand why I didn't do it sooner because this was meant to be. Um, and I'm, I know why other things didn't work out because this was also meant to be. So anyway, with that said, I know that was just like a little random spurt of maybe hopefully encouragement. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Nonetheless, I'm really excited. I cannot wait to get my little home away from home all set up and all decorated and things like that. Um, and yeah, so thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, if you guys did enjoy this video, please feel free to give it a thumbs up and subscribe. That way you'll be notified when I post new videos. And of course, my little DIY video coming up very soon. I um, mean, if you guys want to follow me on any of my social media pages. I have Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat. I will leave all my little handles right down here. As always, you guys know the drill. So with that said, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you all have been well, and I hope you guys have a happy Valentine's Day. Of course, as you can see, I got my Valentine's Day stuff up, stuff up in the nick of time. Um, but yeah, that is all. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching. Hang in there. I am coming back. I will be doing more videos very, very soon, but I appreciate you. Thank you guys. And also thank you for 44,000 subscribers. Holy moly, literally less than a thousand until 45 was just, just like, oh, I don't know, so surreal, so unreal feeling. Um, and then of course, even like 5,000 away from like 50,000 or at this point, a little over 6,000 away or close to 6,000 away from 50,000, which again is even just like more mind blowing as it is. So anyway, with that said, I have a lot of stuff coming up, coming up very, very, very soon. So hang in there. I love you guys. Thank you seriously so much for watching and I will see you all in my next video.